You've seen all this before, RAF guard dogs in ferocious action. But have you ever thought how these four-legged members of the armed services are controlled and barracked and trained? The surprise is that it's women, women, not men, who put these formidable creatures through their early lessons in savage discipline. Any young lass can recognize a wolf whistle when she hears one, but here are real live wolves in dog's clothing fed on red meat, two and a half pounds of it a day. Proof positive that life really has been made lush for man, woman or dumb animal in the services today. about pretty girls looking like a dog's dinner, these girls have complete control over dogs trained to guard millions of pounds worth of parked aircraft with jaws and jam-packed lessons in how to use the dogged strength behind their snarls. The vet is the first man the dog has really seen at their Debden depot. There's no nursing home better equipped than this clinic for National Service dogs. But when they're fighting fit, you'll find that it's girls who take them out to exercise. Men take them through the final phase of training because it's a man's world we live in. But look, just look and see what happens when a man is in charge. It seems recruits today just won't respond to discipline. The RAF has gone to the dogs, it really has. So they're molly coddling the dogs these days, whatever a thing's coming to. In the old days, in the armed services, it was a dog's life if you didn't jump to it. Not, that's the hardest trick a dog can ever be taught, walking down a stepladder. Harder than jumping through a hoop of flames. Good boy. And he'll jump until the...